Right sector speaker and the party's representative to the Verkhovna Rada, Borislav Bereza, said the new parliament is mired in conflict and is non-functional. The People's Deputy believes that the parliament is turning into a circus. The right sector speaker does not rule out the possibility that the current Rada will not be able to change anything in the country. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said Thursday's talks in New Delhi with India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi have been substantive and constructive. During Putin's one-day visit, Russia and India signed a package of 25 joint documents on developing bilateral cooperation, including in the peaceful use of nuclear energy. Also, Russia and India plan to expand payments in national currencies, Putin said. We agreed to use national currencies more actively in the payments, the Russian president told. Russian Presidential Chief of Staff Sergei Ivanov said on Thursday the aggravation of the situation in the Middle East and North Africa was one of the results of certain Western countries' policy. The short-sighted policy by certain Western countries led, diplomatically speaking, to a rapid surge in religious extremism in the Middle East and North Africa, Ivanov said. We watched the complicated processes in the Middle East and North Africa where the ethno-confessional balance is destroyed, he added. German activists have released a new mobile application that tracks ultranationalist rallies happening in the city. The anti-Nazi app has been devised to help fight against far-right extremists who are gaining around in Berlin. Berlin has become a hotspot for rising nationalism at a time when Germany has been receiving an increasing number of refugees from the Middle East and Syria. The German capital now regularly seen nationalist rallies on Mondays, with the last one reportedly gathering several hundred people. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.